you know, I'm really glad that after a long time, people began to realize that smoking is bad for us. You know, at first people didn't realize that it was bad for us, but over time we learned that it's bad for us. And now they said, well, what if you take the fire out of the smoking? You just have nicotine. And they do these e-cigarettes, right? They make them flavored up for kids. And they, and they sell it to kids, you know? And, and I have seen, you know, 10-year-old kids with an e-cigarette machine, you know? And now I'm glad that we're finally realizing that nicotine itself... Even without the fire, even if you're using an e-cigarette, the nicotine is also poison for you. It poisons your brain. It poisons your body. I'm glad we're realizing that. But then some people want to go back and say, well, we can't do nicotine, we can't do smoking, but maybe we can, we can smoke fire, but it's just something else, so that'll be okay. And, you know, it could be whatever kind of plant you want. You could be smoking grass. You could take it, you know, grass from the floor you know, from the soccer field, and you can roll that up and smoke it. And you know what? It's going to be bad for you. Do you know why? Because you're breathing smoke. It doesn't matter what kind of smoke it is. Every type of smoke is bad for you. Every time you set a plant on fire, plants are made of carbon. And when you make, set, you know, a carbon-based life form, like grass or a tree or a human being or whatever... If you set something that's alive on fire, it makes carbon, it makes smoke, it makes ash. And ash and smoke and carbon are really bad for you. It doesn't matter if you eat the, eat, if you eat the carbon. It doesn't matter if you smoke it. However you get that carbon, just pure black soot, the pure black carbon and the ash into your body, it's really bad for you. It gives you cancer. It'll kill you. And it's really not good to breathe it into your lungs. So you can say whatever you want about marijuana. The truth is going to come out, and everyone's going to see that marijuana is bad for your brain, it's bad for your body, it's bad for your soul, it's bad for you, every, every part of you, it's bad for your life, it's bad for your relationships, it's bad for your health, it's bad for your teeth, whatever. But, and, and it's going to come out, and one day people are going to see that I'm telling you the truth. But there's something that you can't deny that you can understand right now, you can be certain about right now. When you smoke marijuana, you you set something on fire and you're breathing the smoke. Breathing smoke is always bad for you, even if it's a, a forest fire. Even sitting by a campfire, even though it's fun, it does affect your health. And if you sit by too many campfires, like every single day, it's just as bad as if you're smoking cigarettes because you're getting so much smoke in your lungs. It's not good for you. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that smoking is not good for you. Even if it's marijuana, there's, you know, you make this name, like it's a wonderful name. Marijuana. Like, if you can just give it a beautiful, if you give it a nice sounding name, how about, how about junk weed? How about garbage plant? So if you want to smoke the garbage plant, if you want to, if you want to smoke the shit plant that smells like poop, if you want to smoke the poop plant, you know, the poop weed. Okay, this, you're going to smoke the poop weed in the garbage plant. All right, but you're breathing smoke and it's going to hurt you. And it's poisonous to you and it's going to hurt you no matter what. And the chemicals that are in there are not good for you. And we're going to find that out pretty quick. And it's causing mental health issues. So I'm just going to let you know. But I want to say no matter what you do or how you do it, nicotine without the smoke, smoke without the nicotine, Nicotine and smoke. Smoke plus something else. It's all bad for you. Your grandmother was right. Don't do drugs. Because that's what God says. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Or it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be something that's kept clean. Because you love God and you love Jesus. Because Jesus is our God. And, and he's our creator. He made us. He didn't make us to be doing drugs. He made drugs to exist on the planet Earth for a different reason, and maybe it's not for us to have. 
So, anyways, thanks for listening.